Hey there, so I'm, as you can tell by the video, um, description, what I'm here to talk about. So there's a few reasons why I had left LuLaRoe and had um, switched to Amelia James. So for starters, I was at a vendor event and a lot of the time uh, people come up to me and I only live in a town of 5,000. So to have more than one LuLaRoe consultant, I thought it wouldn't be a big deal, but it ended up being a bigger deal than what I thought. Um, I could get into vendor events, no problem. But a lot of the time people would be like, oh, the other consultant that was in my town, um, she sells too, doesn't she? So I mean, it was nice. So her people would come see me and my people would see her, but I would always hear so-and-so has um, LuLaRoe as well. And she had a lot more than I did and kids clothes and whatnot. So that um, became a little bit harder. Yeah, and that became a lot harder. Um, so they, and a lot of my patterns tended to, or styles, they were all looking for solids. They didn't like a lot of the crazy patterns. So that kind of didn't help. And the week before I quit LuLaRoe, I had a lot of women at my vendor event ask if um, they had something for them in that a certain pattern that wasn't their size, they could find it in another size um, with the same print. And I had to explain to them, no, you cannot do that um, with this company. So that was a little difficult. And at the very beginning when I started selling LuLaRoe, a lot of people asked about pants besides the leggings. Well, they only have leggings, leggings or skirts. And I had a lot of women tell me at multiple events that they don't wear leggings and they don't wear skirts. So all they could look at were tops. Now, the other thing with tops was I am smaller and petite. I am 125 pounds. Some days I'm 120, just depending on the day. So I very I fluctuate in between those sizes, and I'm 5'6". So I am very petite, as most people would say. And a lot of the clothes would not fit me even, or if it did, in an extra, extra small, was still big. And so after a while, I wasn't starting to feel beautiful anymore in the clothes. I felt very baggy and not myself. And I'm only 22, so the clothes made me feel a lot older than what I was, and more like I was a mother. I'm 22, I am um, I have a boyfriend and a dog, I'm a dog mom, <laughs> so I don't have that pooch or anything, and, I wanted, and my best friends were wearing all these cute, trendy clothes, and yes, LuLaRoe's trendy, but just not too much for 20-year-olds. So that's where I ran into those problems trying to sell it with LuLaRoe. Now, when I came to Amelia James, it was trendy. It was constantly going with the styles of what's going on now. Um, yes, they have leggings, but that's not their main thing. They want to sell the tops. They want to sell plazo pants is really um, in right now. And I've been told by older generations who are in their 50s and 60s, and I have a lot of, uh, of my customers who would want plazo pants, and they had asked if Lulu had those, but Amelia James did. And so that's what really drew me into Amelia James, was their styles and whatnot. And then I looked more into it, and they have seasonal styles, which is even better, because I live in Minnesota, and when you have skirts and leggings, those don't really go with every single step of the month. Now, they were from California, so I could see where some of the styles really um, could go all year round, but in Minnesota it doesn't work. So that's one nice thing with Amelia James is it kept going with season. So right now I have like a nice flowy cute top and it's fall time so it works. Um, and in the summertime they actually have tank tops. Um, cute things like that and I believe they have really nice skirts and I mean they're not as um, what do you want to, what's the word for it? Um, conservative. They're a little more, I want to show some skin kind of thing. So they have like cold shoulder tees and whatnot. And that's what really got me to go um, for Amelia James. Then I decided um, I will go to retreat. Uh, that was 
in, um, if you're watching now, and it's probably not that time, that was in um, the end of September of 2017 um, into the first day of October of 2017. So when I went there, there's only been 120 of us who went, 120 to 200 of us who went to retreat. So a very small group, but we're up to a little over 500 ladies in the company. And I got to go meet the founder, Adriana, in person. And let me tell you, she is the most hardworking, down-to-earth person you could meet. And she got was trying to know everybody in the company. So she was very, yeah, like down-to-earth. You would have never expected her. She showed humility every time someone went to take a picture with her. I mean, we were all fangirling and she was just thinking, I'm like one of you guys. I just had the idea to make it my company. So, I mean, that really definitely made me think about it. This is why I chose the company. And she, she has a young family and she's had heartache and everything she's gone through. So it really made it personal. So, I mean, those are just a few things that made me want to switch over to Amelia James. And I, so far I am loving the company. I'm loving my team. And I hope that this has um, gave you a little insight of um, what you're looking for. Maybe you're looking for a new company. Maybe you're trying to find a company um, to sell clothes with. Um, but Amelia James has really um, changed my life and I love it already. It's a great company to be with. So um, I'll just do my little spiel at the end. <laughs> if you um, liked my video, subscribe below. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. I will have those links down below. And um, if you're also looking for maybe um, some more information, I'll also have my email down below. So you can always contact me of anything else. So thanks ladies for watching, I really appreciate it. And I hope you got more insight of um, Amelia James. Bye.